Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Tap Skin. In this video, we're gonna show you deep coder. So, this is a coding reasoning LM and it's fine tuned from DeepSeek R1 distilled Kuwen 14B model. So, it is using distributed reinforcement learning to scale up to long context lens. And there's a very interesting part is the training recipe. So, it says our training recipe relies on an improved version of GRPO and iterative context lengthening introduced in deep scale R. So in this fine-tuned model uh, is actually uh, seems to be better than the deep cigar one. They still cool and 14 b the original one from all the benchmarks they showed in the evaluation. Uh, so if you go through the documentation, if you want to try it out, uh, you can try it on the VLM, which is what we did. And also you can try on hugging face uh, text generation, inferencing, SGLAN, and TSRT. Um, so demo this a little bit later in this video by using VLM and OpenYVY. So if you want to uh, get the model, the original one, but it's a little bit big. And we use the uh, Bartowski GGUF, which is a quantized version, 4-bit. So you can see the size is only 8 gigs, so, uh, which is comfortably uh, can be tested on Kaggle. So as I mentioned earlier, uh, for the VLM setup on Kaggle, we have a video in the description. Feel free to check that out. And also for the OpenWeb US setup, we also have another video and it is in the description. Also feel free to check that out. I will skip this setup in this video, but for the VLM to serve the um, deep coder just reference this configuration. And basically, you do need the tokenizer from the original Apple, but the uh, GGF you can use any GGF. Uh, so the one that we use is Bartowski, uh, which is the famous one. And you can download it to Kaggle Temp, and you can see from the right side on the panel, the setup is about 40 gigs, and the GPU is 14 e each. Uh, if you want to use two GPUs as we set up in here. So uh, make sure the context lens is proper, so max model length. So we set up uh, as uh, the regular one. Uh, you can uh, make it a little bit bigger or uh, just make it a little bit smaller, but I think this size works. Uh, that should be the VLM configuration. And for the open web UI, uh, just make sure that uh, you can configure the um backhand using OpenAI uh, base URL and to the one that you set up with the VLM. So this is one to 5B. So you can see this is the one that we set up. So you can see it's running. And basically that's the only thing you need to change. Uh, if you follow the tutorials in the past and that should be good to go. So as you can see here, already set that up. Uh, so it's 445A. So you can see here, um, this is 445A. If you look at the link here, right? So this is actually running. So uh, we tried um, to build a game and also build a crypto landing page. You can see for the deep coder, uh, the landing page is actually pretty good. So you can see it's a very nice landing page. It has everything we requested. And you can see basically they have a lot of reasoning about building this landing page. Uh, so which is pretty cool. and. Um, if you look at the other task we run, space, space Shooter is a um, arcade style, style game. So you can see, uh, basically, it's an arcade style video game using the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript only. Um, so basically, it's trying to build a spaceship. It's traveling through a dense asteroid field. The player must navigate the spaceship. So um, basically, this is what uh, it is supposed to look like. Uh, so it's very nice. Uh, so we actually use DeepSeek. Um, uh, uh, V3, uh, 0324 to build it. So you can see it's very, very nice. So uh, the one uh, that we actually um, tried in the deep coder, you can go back to the deep coder. It's the one we tried in deep coder. And it is a little bit off, but uh, it seems to um, try to figure it out. But uh, I think there's a little bit off. So for the complicated games, I think it's a uh, uh, still need improvement, but uh, for general coding, it is very good. So if you look at the 
um, landing page I showed you here is very good. Uh, so also, if you actually copy the code, you can paste it into the XML viewer, and then you can see everything is working as expected. So it is very nice, and the UI is beautiful. So, and that should be it. So hopefully this is helpful. And if you like this video, uh, please subscribe, like, or comment. If you have any questions, thank you so much for supporting the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.